Oh, things are happening! <gasps> cool! Hey guys, what's up? Ellie Shadow Lady here and welcome back to Enchanted Oasis. Today I'm going to be making a start with the Ars Magica mod which allows me to use magic in the world of Enchanted Oasis. After some extensive research, aka one Google search, I've managed to figure out that I need to find a pool of liquid essence, which I do remember that there are a couple of around because Cupquake pointed them out to us. So I need a book and I do have one of those somewhere. I definitely had one of those somewhere. Um, I have two books actually, so. We also need to make an item frame, which means we'll really need some wood. So let's go on a little adventure to find one of these essence pools. So we just have to locate one. Ah, the taint, it's still there. <gasps> Wait, is that an essence pool? Oh, this is an essence pool. Hmm. Go away, taint. So apparently what we need to do is make an item frame first of all, and then, Wait, how do you make an item frame? No, we need leather. No, I don't have any leather. Cows? Hello? Okay, remember where that pool is. I'll be right back after I have slaughtered some innocent cows. Sorry about this, sorry. Now, where was that essence pool again? Here it is. Okay, so let's make some more item frames. I believe that all we have to do is put the book in an item frame next to the essence pool. So let's just pop that in there. Oh, things are happening! <gasps> cool! How do I know when it's done? Oh, that looks done. Okay, so that has now turned into an arcane compendium. Wow, Gibby. Whoa, it flew over here. You have unlocked the secrets of the arcane. <gasps> okay, can I read it? Your first spell. To make a spell, you first need to create an oculus and unlock at least one spell shape and one component. How do I exit this? <laughs> Let me out! Okay, now it's starting to get dark, so let's go home before it does. Uh-oh, spaghetti -o. Many creepers. Oh, a pesh! Watch out, little dude. Let's actually put our arcane compendium in our backpack for safekeeping. And now let's go to sleep so that we don't have any disasters occur during the night time involving mobs. So now we need to craft ourselves an oculus, so let's look up how to do that. This is an oculus, so we need stone bricks, glass, blue topaz, and coal. I actually have all those things, I think. We definitely have blue topaz. Oh, so lucky. We have stone. Okay, so we don't have coal or glass, so I need to go get some of those. And I think we'll just go down into this ravine down here. Uh, I don't see any coal. Ow. We just need a couple of pieces of coal. Oh gosh, you guys scared me. Oh, it's a wisp. Okay, um, ow. No, please no. No, 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 no. Stay away from me, evil. Okay, that wisp is gonna kill me. Where is the wisp? around somewhere. So let's just get this coal really quick before it kills me. Right, let's escape this way. How could I have run out of coal already? I'm sure we had loads. I must have misplaced it. So I guess the easiest way to get back out of here would be to swim up the waterfall, which I came down. Okay, we just have to get out of here in one piece, so do you mind? Excuse me. Can you not? Please no. Oh no! Okay, please say my stuff is still there. Ow! Oh no, my stuff is down there with the zombies. Where's my sword? I need it. Oh, my backpack! Where's my backpack? Oh, thank gosh, I got my backpack back. I don't have my sword though. Okay, so I think we got most of our stuff back, so I think we should just get out of here as soon as possible. But wait! There's some sand somewhere. I saw it on my way down. This is it. Okay, so let's grab a couple of pieces of this before we go. Oh, I'm underwater. Or not. Let's just go. Just swim. 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 <laughs> so let's quickly go and grab some sand from the riverbank somewhere. 
For now, we only need a couple of pieces, so I'm not going to collect a bunch of it. Okay. So let's cook the sand. There we go. And I think we have everything we need. Yes. So now we just need to craft the oculus, which is made like this. One piece of glass. There we go. Okay, so we have the oculus. Where do we put it? Okay, so let's take the oculus and put it up here. Let's just pop it down right there. Whoa. So how do we use this? Oh. <gasps> So there are different um, talent trees. There's the offensive, defensive, and utility spells. I think I'll go for the offensive spells. So how do I learn? Oh, I clicked it and it did something. So it looks like I have skill points up in the corner here. And I think I just spent one of them learning projectile. Let's try click this one too. Ooh, so I've learned a couple now. Oh no, I accidentally learned another. I didn't even mean to click that one. Magic damage. So I guess once you've learnt it, you can't take it back, because I now know these, but I have no idea how to use them. Okay, so next we need to make an inscription table. So we're going to need all these things, and I don't know how to make a spell parchment. Bamboo, paper, and bamboo. What the heck is bamboo? Do they mean sugar cane? Oh, they mean stick. So, where's my paper? There's my paper. Right, so let's make some spell parchments. Does this work? It does! Okay, we have two. Let's get a feather. Oh, perfect. The feather and the torch. <gasps> we have made an inscription table. So I'm going to place the inscription table up here. All right, let's place that there. So how do we use this? <sighs> so we got a notification saying we'd unlocked something new. So let's see what we unlocked. Crafting altar lectern and magic wall. Let's have a look at the lectern. I must have for any organized mage. The lectern is an ideal place to store books, compendiums, and thermonomicons for easy access. So that should be pretty easy to craft. So let's craft one of those. Let's place a crafting bench up here somewhere. And let's craft this lectern. Is that a lectern? That's a table. This is a lectern. Here we go. Now, where do we put this? How do we use it? Let's right click it with this. Ooh. Okay, let's see about a crafting altar. So we need some ventium dust and some stone to make the crafting altar block. Let's see if we have any, I don't believe we do. We do not. Oh, we have ventium ore. Oh, we're supposed to smelt it, derp. So now we have our ventium dust. Um, we need to make a crafting altar, so we need some stone. Cook it right. So we just combine these like so. We have a crafting altar. So let's go look at the updated compendium and see what we need to make next. Oh, I think what we have to do now is make a book and quill. So let's make a couple of books and then we need some feathers and ink sacs. So let's go. I hate having to kill squid because they're so freaking adorable. Where are they? <gasps> so many squid. Hello, my lovelies. So sorry, but you have something I need. Read. Make more. Multiply. So I can kill you. Now let's make a bunch of book and quills. And by a bunch, I mean two, because that's all I can. Now let's go put them in the inscription table. Drag it here. <gasps> Ooh, at least one component is needed. Removing the book will finalize the spell recipe. What about we put that in there too? Okay, so this is my first spell book. I just dragged everything down here. And now if I remove this, it should be a spell book. So this is my first spell book. Oh, these are the materials I need to make the spell. And of course we are going to need a magic altar, a crafting altar. So we need to go build one of those. I don't think it's gonna fit in here, to be honest with you. So I think we have to build it outside. Let's grab some fences so that we can fence it off from the rest of the world. So it's a 5x5 five five structure, so let's mark it out. Okay, so we'll have the crafting altar right here. And that means we need to build some fences around it so that nobody comes near it. There we go. So now, the only access is via this gate. So it's a multi-block structure, which means I need to build it. 
out of different kinds of blocks and depending on the kind of blocks we use the more powerful the altar will be so i don't have the best combination of blocks to build it out of at the moment we can always upgrade at a later date so at the moment i'm just going to use cobblestone for the main blocks <laughs> and i think we might be able to use moonstone oh no we have to make the moonstone blocks wow it's gonna take a lot to make all those so this is what i want to eventually make it out of because we have a lot of moonstone but we need the moonstone blocks so we have to wait for more meteorites so we need five of these blocks which means we need five times nine which is 45 we need 45 of something i think we're gonna have to use iron off now so let's smelt all the iron that we can um we're gonna need to go find a little bit more because we don't quite have enough but have no fear, there's a completely safe cave just down here. I'm probably gonna die again. Okay, so let's come get what we came down here for, which is iron. So we need a lot of iron, so... What the heck? Uh oh. If we could find a diamond down here too, that would be great, because then we can actually make our enchanting table, which we prepared the area for last episode. And then maybe we can enchant our tools and die less. I should probably also make myself some armor because I am terrible at Minecraft. There are lots of things that want to kill me in this world. Oh, I just looked at the mini map and realized I'm right underneath Cupquake's house. Okay, let's get these last few pieces of iron ore and then this should be enough. I've had a great idea of how to get out of here, so why don't I just get my backpack and my wings. And we'll just pop my wings on. And then we'll just kind of fly out of here. Get out of here. Oh my gosh, that was a brilliant idea. Phew. Now let's continue to smelt ore. So while we're smelting the materials for the cap blocks, we can start building the main structure of the crafting altar. We actually need to make some stairs of these blocks. So we need 12, I believe. I'm going to place dirt where the cap blocks should be for now and then I'll replace them with iron blocks later. There should also be one in the middle here. And we need some stairs. Okay, now, do we have the crafting altar? Yes, we do. This block needs to go in the top, in the middle, right here. Maybe it doesn't show until the whole structure is complete. So, let's go take another look at the compendium because we also need to make some magic walls for the sides of the structure and I don't know how to make this. <laughs> so, Vintium dust and stone. Oh, uh, that's finished smelting. So we can start smelting this. Okay, now we can start making the cap blocks. We only need five, so there we go. And we also need to smelt some stone for the magic walls. Okay, let's make our magic walls now, like so. Oh, plenty, okay. And I think we also need to move the lectern from up here. So, sorry, but let's go. And finally, we also need a lever, but I don't know how to make one of those. So I'm gonna, gonna have to do a quick search. A stick and cobblestone, I should have known. Stick and a cobblestone. There we go. So now we have everything we need to make the magic altar. So now let's replace these blocks with the cap blocks, which are iron which we'll later replace with moonstone because there are a lot of meteorites that fall by my house. <laughs> okay, so the cap blocks are in. Now we need to put the walls in. They just go there. Oh, they look nice. And um, we need the lectern right here and a lever right here. <gasps> and I think it's complete. So the last thing that we'll do today is create our first spell from the first spell book that we made. So we'll pop this in the lectern. Okay, so now we need to make a blank rune. So you make a blank rune with just cobblestone like this. So we should, there we go. Um, we can make four of them. So I think I just have to throw this in. Aha, okay, so um, now the lectern is showing us what we need to put in the altar for the spell to be created. <laughs> that looks crazy. Um, I think we have the Vintium Dust on us, so pretty sure that's... Yep, let's throw some Vintium Dust in there. Boop. That went in. Now we need an arrow. 
I do not have an arrow on my person right now, so I'll be right back. Is there any way I can read this book to like get a list? Okay, so this is a list of all the materials that we're going to require to complete the spell. So let's collect all these first and then we'll put them in all together. So we've already done the rune, the dust, and next is the arrow. So let's go and collect all of these and we'll be back to complete the spell later. So a couple of things we can make already. We can make the stone sword and the iron sword. So let's craft those. Uh, here's the iron sword. And here is the stone sword. We definitely have an arrow somewhere. We Yes, in here. So now we just need the snowball and we need some lapis so that we can make the purple rune. And we also just need lapis just in general. Uh, I need to make a new pickaxe because I <laughs> broke my other one. Okay. Into the caves we go. Um, let's put the wings on. It's pretty dangerous. Does anyone see any lapis? Hello? Any lapis? I think these wings will be good for a quick getaway, just in case. This just looks like death down here, not- Lapis! That's a spawner. That's a spawner. Ah! Oh no, my wings! Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Phew! Uh oh, a wisp. Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Oh, my sword! Oh, wait, what, ha what just happened? <gasps> no, I just used the new sword that I made! Now I can't use it for the spell. What's in here? Oh, some cool stuff. Let's take this. Please have some lapis. It doesn't have any lapis. We got some music discs, though. <gasps> we got cat. That's my favorite. We got 13 again. <laughs> is this lapis? I think it is. Oh, thank gosh. Okay. That did not look how I was expecting it to. We can fly up here. There we go. Phew. Okay. So now we've got lapis. We need a rose. There we go. Um, let's craft some purple dye. There we go. And we have the red dye. What the heck is that? Ethereal essence. Let's keep that. Okay, now we have to dye the runes. So one of them needs to be red. Um, that's red. And then one of them needs to be purple. Does the lapis lazuli need to be a block or just one piece? I think it's just one piece. So we have that. Ah! And finally, we need a snowball. But let's go do that in the morning. So let's go to sleep now. So I believe that there is a snow biome in that direction. So I'm just going to quickly run over there. Maybe I'll even fly. Yeah, it's definitely this way. Aha, there it is. Okay, and I think my shovel is in my backpack. There we go. So now we just need a snowball. There we have it, a snowball. Now we can go back. So now we should have everything we need to create the magic spell. So let's do that now. Sorry, we need the arrow. Boop. Next is the snowball. And the red rune. And the iron sword. I think it went to this one. Boop. The purple rune. Next is a piece of lapis. And a book. Where's my book? There's my book. Boop. Uh, a stone sword. There we go. A parchment. So there we have that. Ooh, what's that? Is that it? Oh, <gasps> this is my projectile spell. How do I you? Whoa, let's rename it projectile, I guess. And then we can choose an icon for it. So how about this one? It looks like an explosion. Okay, now what? How do I use it? Oh, <gasps> I just used it. Cool. So I guess I just have to have this uh, in my hot bar holding it and I can use it to kill things. So. Um, I don't want to test it on one of my animals. That seems rather cruel. But it uh, looks like there's nobody else around, so take that. Okay, I don't have enough mana. Okay, let's test it on this sheep over here. Yeah. You idiot! As you can see from my mana bar at the bottom, it costs quite a lot of mana to cast that spell, so I can't test it out again for quite a while, so... Mm. I guess we'll have to wait until next episode to try out more of the spells and level up our spellcasting. But I hope you enjoyed this episode of Enchanted Oasis. 
Don't forget to leave a like if you do and you want to see more episodes, and subscribe to stay updated, and I'll see you in the next video. So I guess I'm just going to have to put it in my DVD player and hope that it doesn't explode. Oh my gosh, magnet. I love magnets.